It is what it is. It is what it is. That's what we're going to be talking about today. I apologize for coming on a little bit earlier than 10, but I must leave for 10 so that I can get my infusion for my asthma. Um, and I didn't want it to be a video because a lot of you don't catch my videos. You rather my lives. So this is 10 at 10, a little before 10, but it'll still be 10 minutes or less. And Today, we are talking about expectations and lip care, okay? This is a little sign that I have in my TV room. It is what it is. So important to recognize and accept things instead of expect. So today's quote said, the key to happiness is letting each situation be what it is, what it is, instead of what you think it should be. This is, if you can change this in your life, it will make a huge, huge difference. If you recognize that according to Shakespeare even, this is way back in Shakespeare's time, he said expectation is the root of all heartache. Expectation is the root of all heartache. When we expect, instead of accept, we get hurt. Feelings get hurt. Relationships get hurt. If you have no expectations, you'll have no disappointments. You can't change something that is. It just is that. And so all of the crying, the complaining, the griping, the wailing, the wishing, and hoping it was something else is never going to change that. Yes, Brandy, this is my husband saying he says it all the time. So when I found this sign, I had to get it because it's what we live by now. Um, many times a person's expectations, they don't correspond with reality, all right? Because everybody's in a different stage. And if you start expecting, oh, well, this is what I would do, you're just going to get disappointed. Everybody has had different experiences, different thoughts, different things. And the majority of the times when someone hurts your feelings, they didn't even know. They didn't get it or they don't know the extent because they have not lived the same life that you live. And so it really becomes a kind of a breeding ground for resentment in a relationship. You, oh, he should have known this. She should have known this. She shouldn't have done this. She should have realized. He should have realized. Whatever, in any relationship, whether we're talking about a love relationship, a parent relationship, friendships, whatever. When you have expectations for something, they don't necessarily match another person's. Then you get your heart hurt or your feelings hurt and you're, you resent and maybe you don't tell them, especially if it's unspoken. And so sometimes we blame others for disappointing us when really it was our fault because we were expecting too much. So the more in your life than you can say, this is what it is and I accept it, the better you can move on. The other thing is don't expect in a relationship. Tell them. My husband, if you probably asked him what's one of the best things he loves about me, he said he would probably say or in the top five, he would say that I tell him what I expect. That he didn't have to guess. He doesn't, you know, he said, oh, you know, there's a lot of people that say, oh, if he loved me or if she truly loved me, she would know what I expect or she would know what to get me for my birthday or she would know. No, people. It's hard for us to understand ourselves and you want another person to understand you. So in our relationship, if I want something, I would be like, okay, you don't have to give me anything for Valentine's Day, but um, the next day I want you to get me some other half price candy. Okay, I'll say, you know what you're getting me for my birthday, <laughs> right? Don't, you know, and then if something hurts, you say, wow, that really hurt my feelings. Say it. Don't let it be unspoken. The majority of times if I say that, he's like, oh, I didn't mean it that way, or I didn't realize, or why would that hurt your feelings? Because, and then I have to maybe explain, well, it reminds me of something, you know, from my childhood or something from another work experience. And so, if you want it, you can't be happy if all you're doing is expecting more and more from others. Because what happens is a lot of times you expect more from others that, than you expect from yourself. Or the opposite. You know that you give so much and you think people are going to give the same. 
that's not the case either. They're not you. So if you truly want to be happy, you have to lower your expectations. Now, not in terms of how you should be treated, but in terms of just expecting so much from other people, you're just going to be disappointed because everybody is just trying to get through the day. So don't take it personally. Okay. Now the tip today is about lip care. And one thing I want you to realize about your lips is that they're, the skin on it is much thinner than anywhere else. It doesn't have melatonin. It doesn't produce natural oils. So basically it has absolutely no protection on its own by itself. So if you don't even worry about your lips, then yes, they're going to be chapped. They're going to be um, sore. They're going to um, be be kind of cracked or whatever. You have to take care of it. So one way is to stay hydrated. Okay, gosh, how many times is the answer drinking water and yet some of us still don't do it? Stay hydrated. Another one is to keep them moist. Some kind of lip balm or something and moisturizes it every day. Now be careful that the lip balm you use is not one that has um, salicylic acid crystals in it. Um, a lot of lip balms, they are addicting to you. So they are making it feel okay now, but they have the salicylic acid in it. So what will happen is eventually your lips are gonna need it to stay moisturized. So you want something like our lip bonbon, which is preventative instead of reactive, all right? It is something that you put it on day and night and it's gonna keep your lips moist and protect them all the time. Now, another thing you can do is to exfoliate your lips. We have an actual lip exfoliator that's made of shea butter and sugar. And so you just put it on. I usually put it on at night and also before I do any lip products. It tastes real good, like donuts. And you just kind of rub it. Now, if you don't have this, there's other things you can do. Take an old toothbrush and do it. Take a uh, washcloth and do it. Just make sure that you do it so that you get all of the dead skin cells off of it. And then, like I said, uh, some preventative lip balm that's not gonna make you addicted to it, that's just gonna moisturize. Uh, we have five tinted ones and we also have a clear. But the tint, as you can see, is very light. And there's a lot you can do with this, which I'll tell you on another 10 at 10. Um, but the thing to remember is that your lips have no protection other than what you do. So instead of expecting too much, how about thinking about what your lips expect of you and that they expect you to take care of them so that they're smooth, they're dry, they're, uh, they're not dry, they're hydrated and just healthy. You want healthy lips. Thank you so much for catching me early. I'm so sorry I had to come on early today, but I didn't want to miss it. So remember, the key to happiness is letting each situation be what it is instead of what you think it should be. And always take care of your lips, all right? Thanks for watching my 10 at 10. Go ahead and comment or share to be entered into the monthly drawing for the, um, the iTunes card. It's almost the end of the month. So... Don't forget our Flawless 4 and our Flawless 4 Plus is still available. Um, kudos, because it ends at the end of the month. And at the end of the month, I'm going to draw. So go ahead and share so that everybody will know about expectations and lip care. Thank you so much. Have a great day.